If you're new to Chanel, welcome. So glad you joined the community. It's more like come rob me. And this one's kind of like, oh, I don't know if it's robbable. In this video, we are doing a review of my Chanel mini flat bag from the 23P collection. I'm so excited to finally share with you my new Chanel purse. I actually got this like quite a while ago. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know, I've been on an Hermes journey when I was in Paris, which I'll get into in another video. So if you want to see that, make sure you are subscribed and your notification bell is turned on. If you're new, my name is Joy. I sometimes post content about my impulse purchases for really nice things like a Chanel purse. But you know what? They are investments. So that's what I tell myself. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why I got this purse and what I feel about it within the first few days of like owning it and having it and trying it on and all that jazz. So if you like purse content when it comes to Chanel bags, Hermes, all that stuff, then join the club. Anyways, let's open this bad boy. First of all, it comes in this white Chanel bag. I was kind of annoyed when it came in the white bag. I was like, wait, I want the black one. And then I found out that you only get the white bag if you know you know, if you bought it from the original Chanel store in Paris, which actually isn't the original Chanel store, like 31 Rue Cambone, where I got this. The one around the corner, which I think is also the same address, is actually the original store for Chanel and her apartment was upstairs but that's where she got it started so like if you a little backstory I had been trying to get an Hermes lottery appointment for a really long time I was coming to the end of my time living in Paris for the winter time if you don't know I live like back and forth in Paris and New York because I I can I work a remote job and why not so I was on the hunt for a Kelly bag because if you know, you know, the investment on it is amazing. I'm not planning on selling mine ever, but I would love to grab my hands on the Holy Grail. I was not successful even with getting a lottery appointment. So as I was walking to the Hermes like store, I walked past Chanel and Chanel had just come out with the 23P collection. So I was like, let me just roll in really quick. I was looking really cute that day too. I was wearing this white pea coat and then underneath I was just wearing like a very basic outfit. I think I was wearing like black pants and like just a plain white top. Or was I wearing like a black sweater? I looked very Chanel. Like I was in white and black without even trying. And I had black leather gloves on. I know some people are interested about this, like what to wear in Chanel. So this is what I wore. And then I wore like tennis shoes and I was with Brody. Brody's in the back. He tends to like to lick his paws when I'm filming, which is like so annoying. So anyways, I go in and they immediately were like, there's a hour long wait, like a two hour wait. Do you have an appointment? And I was like, no, I just want to see the new collection. I was also wearing my Chanel classic flap, if that helps. And I was like, I just want to see the new collection. I just want to walk around. So they were like, okay, like put your name down anyways. I was walking around. I was having a good time. I was loving everything in the store, whether it was ready to wear, leather goods, accessories, all that jazz. Like I am a Chanel girl to the T. I have accepted the fact that I am a Chanel girl. I've loved Chanel ever since I was like in middle school and I knew what fashion houses were. I just have always been obsessed with Chanel. So I found this bag and it was on the top. Let me just like pull it out for you guys. If you guys watch me on Reels and TikTok, I actually did an unboxing of this purse. So you guys can check it out over here. But this is just like the long time, like sit down, like let's be friends and like talk about it. So it comes in this box. It's so cute. Like, are you serious? Okay, so let's open it up. So you open it up and I've already opened it up, sorry. So, But it came with like the ribbons and stuff and like all that jazz and like the little rose thing on the top. So, okay, so here she is. Has a little sticker on it. Sorry, like I'm trying to make this as aesthetic as possible, but aesthetic is hard and I just like want to get to the point. So it comes out in this little like bag it comes out in the regular bag yeah, yeah, yeah. oh there's like a booklet i had no idea it had a booklet in it okay so here is the purse ah! okay okay it's upside down here here it is ready ready guys okay ah! okay oh my god ah! i'm screaming okay 
<laughs> I've already opened it like so many times. Like literally wore it at Super Bowl, and I don't know why. Like every time I unbox it, like I scream. Like come on, come on. I don't even know if Sony can pick up how amazing this bag is, but it's just so freaking fabulous. Okay, so what you're seeing right here is what you're seeing. It is a white caviar Chanel mini flap, which used to be the price of a flap bag, but. The flat bags are insane these days. Come on. So look at the lighting. Like I purposely am filming this in the most amazing lighting and I've washed my hands a good amount of times because I put some pink eyeshadow on me today. But it is an aged gold hardware. Aged gold hardware. And if you look at that right guy, there's little hearts on it. There's little hearts on it. And if you go right over here, there is, I don't know if you guys can see, like the little CCs. Like it's all about these little freaking details over here. And if I was to open up this chain, the little heart. Ah! Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. Like Chanel, like seriously, it's so good. Okay, so here is the strap. Brody's like, why are you going crazy? So it goes pretty long. And this is why I really like it, although it does this thing, it's kind of annoying. So you can wear it as a crossbody, you can wear it as like a shoulder bag, if I do this. It is like kind of annoying adjusting these, I'm not gonna lie. And like this, or you can wear it just like crossbody. Like you can wear it literally any way you freaking want. And that's what I love about it is like how versatile this can be. Because I'm not gonna lie, like I love my flat bag, but but sometimes she's a big girl, you know? Like she's a big girl and she draws a lot of attention and she's appreciated in value. If you're new to Chanel, welcome. So glad you joined the community. But Chanel basically like started off at $2,000 for the flat bag. This is the mini one. Here is my Chanel classic flap. This, when it first came out, was like $2,000 with the re-edition Karl Lagerfeld CC ones. And then it went up, I think maybe because Lauren Conrad and the Hills and everything, that's like when I really wanted it. it, was during this era, but I was in high school. So this came out and I was like, my first big girl paycheck, I'm getting this. And I absolutely did. I got this, I wanna say like in February, 2016 like I had been on the wait list December 2015 and then I got it in 2016 yeah because I got promoted in 2015 so I always get my bags in the P collection I don't know why I always get the cruise one but this is a classic so you don't have to like wait to a certain collection to get it if you don't know what the collections are I didn't either basically what it is is there's like fall winter pre-fall pre-spring spring and then there's cruise so I I always get my bags around February, I think, cause I'm just like depressed that it's winter. But anyway, so that bag, bought it for $4,500 or 46, I forget. It's now worth like 10, 12K. This one, I got it in Paris. And the reason why I got it in Paris is because it's a lot more affordable in Paris. There are ways that you can get around saving money when you're buying Chanel. First way is buying it in Europe because it's overall cheaper in Europe when you get your purse in Europe because Chanel's just cheaper when it's sold in its mother country, like Apple is cheaper when it's sold in its mother home. So it's slightly cheaper, but Chanel does a really good job at making sure that by country, the prices are fairly much the same across the world. So it's not like going to Dior, Louis Vuitton, or like the other ones. You know, it's like pretty much the same. So I went there and then what you do in Europe is there's a thing called the VAT refund. I have so many short videos that talk all about this. I should do another video about the VAT refund because it is like honestly a game changer. So if you're a resident outside of Europe, you can get a VAT refund and it changes by country, but basically it's a percentage that you get back. I think for Chanel in Paris, it was 13%. So I got 13% back on this bad boy. So basically you need to bring your passport in and they just like write down numbers on a piece of paper. Don't lose a piece of paper because if you lose the paper, like you're screwed. And you have to make sure you're not wearing it or if it's out of its packaging when you get to the airport because like they might check. 
so basically you get to the airport and there's this little kiosk and you scan your passport and it will find everything associated that you bought while you were in France and you can do like um like an ability to get cash back or it just goes back on your credit card certain houses will only do credit card they don't do cash back Chanel has the option to do credit card or cash back but with cash you get less and with credit card it can take a while but big houses usually get the cash the credit back pretty fast i think mine came back in like two weeks or two three weeks hermes only does credit they're like not really into cash like i don't know why but anyway she's here and i got some money back for her which is like healthy saving and i got the middle one too so there was a smaller one i will try to put a picture of over here but she was like a little shorter she was more rectangular shape like this she wasn't a chunky girl you know but i like the chunky girl because she fits more and i'm planning on getting the big iphone i just have like the regular one but the big one doesn't fit in the mini and i like this one because i feel like when i'm out like this one asks for more attention it's more like come rob me and this one's kind of like oh i don't know if it's robbable so i don't know if i'm gonna get either one i don't know you guys are so cute Oh my god they're so cute okay so i really like it it really does fit everything that i need like it just fits the phone which is like honestly all i carry because other than that like i just need to fit my keys and my like card holder which it does fit this one was made in italy which i didn't really like want i kind of like it when it's only made in france but the sales guy told me that the italian ones are better i don't know he just made that up but he said like italian leather is better inside it has like the code they do the code on the number now but it's made in italy and it has a tiny little zipper over here this is my new chanel 23p bag i really like it i don't feel like i'm ever gonna give it up it is mine forever um i am kind of nervous that she is going to like um i don't know like wear and tear but it is a white bag like what did you expect like even your teeth don't stay white so i think as long as it's not super yellow like, I'm just thinking about all the summer outfits. Wearing this! On the beach, by the pool, at brunch. She's a vibe. I love her. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video. And if you guys want to see more luxury handbag content, then definitely drop a pink heart emoji underneath so I know. And I will see you guys later. Bye.